Jason in Brooklyn, New York writes to me, Paul, I am considering getting a tube DAC, a DAC with a tube output stage. Okay. However, one of the brands I am considering, a lamp isator, uh, states that the, the following. DACs should not be used with op-amp based preamps, no matter how good, because the op-amp feedback loops will remove the whole joy of music as delivered by the tubed DAC. I am using, <laughs> sorry, sometimes our, 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 our hobby here, our passion really kind of cracks me up. Okay, I'm using an Anthem STR integrated amp, which uses in the preamp section and would love to understand how the op-amp feedback loop will affect sound coming in from a DAC. <laughs> Boy, I, you know, I struggle with even answering this one and the reason is because it's such a blanket statement. Does an amplifier circuit with low feedback sound more open, warm, lush than one with tons of feedback. In general, yes, that is absolutely true. But it isn't universally true. Take for example, a well-designed and what by op-amp, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a chip, okay? At, an op-amp circuit is, is really what we would want to call a um, differential amplifier circuit. It's got two inputs that are differential inputs. It's got a gain stage, output buffer, blah, blah, blah. So there are discrete op amps and chip op amps. It, it is a type of circuit, a differential amplifier circuit is what we're talking about, right? So a differential amplifier circuit with controlled open loop response. In other words, that differential amplifier circuit without any feedback or with the, the l smallest amount of feedback is stable, fairly low distortion, and fast, that, even if you close it down, is still going to sound warm and open and lush if you do it right, okay? So it isn't just the amount of feedback that matters. Now take a chip op amp that, or even a discrete, that has terrible open loop response. So some of the, the, if you look at responses in, just, just pick up a, a book that has all the um, specs for an, for an op amp, a Harris op amp, a TI, a analog devices. Look at the open loop response. Most op amps have very, very high open loop gain and they start rolling off at like 10 hertz, 100 hertz. Now, with a closed loop, they go out maybe to megahertz, but you take that loop away, they have no bandwidth. And that is very typical of a chip op amp. And, and there's a whole bunch of reasons for it. Now that, I'm gonna go ahead and, and agree. That kind of op amp is not one that should be used in a high performance audio circuit. So that's probably a roundabout way of just saying, listen, ask find out how much feedback it has. How was it designed? Is it open loop stable? Does it have decent bandwidth when it is open loop? Ask those questions, because that's the kind of thing that's gonna tell you whether or not it's gonna sound the way you want hooking up your tube DAC, okay? It just isn't so simple. All right, thanks for the question. Talk to you later.